Hey there, we're Nigel and Sue, and these are our adventures. Since the beginning of 2021, we've been travelling Australia in our self-converted 4x4 Sprinter van. For the last few months, we've been exploring the red centre of Australia. In this episode, we travel 1,500 kilometres north from Alice Springs to Darwin, visiting the Devil's Marbles, the quirky Daily Waters pub, and spend a couple of days soaking in the thermal pools at Mataranka. Subscribe to our channel and join us as we visit the highlights and also the hidden gems of this beautiful country. Friends, we are in Alice Springs today and we're making our way to the post office. The big question is, will the part for our heater be there or not? <laughs> Nigel laughs at the idea. I'm putting money on it or it's not. Yeah, we don't think it's going to be there. <laughs> Some more of this beautiful street art. So Nigel is opening the parcel, which has been sitting waiting at the post office for us for three weeks now. What is it, Nigel? A couple of um, diesel heater thermostats. So what's curious, I mean, they, yeah, they've been there for three weeks. Um, so it's been a real hash job and communication. These things, they didn't have a tracking number. Um, that was the first problem. And the second problem being that the, um, the poor old post office workers didn't check all the um, cubby holes. So yeah, turns out we've been freezing our nanas off for nothing. <laughs> but it's kind of got warm now. <laughs> How ironic. Don't need it. And we're going up to Darwin and it's hot as a carrot up there, so... <laughs> Gotta laugh. Yeah, I think we really do have to laugh. Or else we'll cry. Just cluster. Oh, we've been freezing. <laughs> in the coldest winter that Central Australia has had in 50 years. <laughs> Life's an adventure. Nah, nah, nah. back on the road so this morning we left Alice Springs we're heading towards Darwin and we're currently stopped in a place called Aileron we stopped here on the way up it's the place with the statue of the giant man up on the hill there he is up there we stopped here for coffee and we're just getting a little bit of work done while well, we've got internet, sending a few emails. We're actually doing some research because we desperately need to get new tires on our van. We're hoping that the ones we've got will make it to Darwin. Uh, one of our tires is really worn, so we'll show you that, how worn through that one is. It's not proving that easy to get the tires organized. So um, Nigel's over here doing a bit of research now. And shocks, by the way, because their shocks are flogged out. Shocks are shot. Shocks are shot. <laughs> um, yeah, so over the next couple of weeks, well, there is a little bit of off-roading to do in Kakadu. And then once we head over into WA, there's quite a bit more off-roading that we want to do. So we need to get our tyres and shocks sorted before we head over there. planning on my part didn't get over here quickly enough 
but the light on the marbles is really incredible right now. Oh, and we found the Pac-Man. <laughs> Our first stop is going to be Tennant Creek where we'll refuel, get water, get groceries and then continue heading north. We're heading today for the quirky pub at Daily Waters and what we're seeing today is pretty much more of the same as we saw yesterday. A wide open desert country, pretty much nothing but low scrubby bushes but we have started to see termite mounds again. Coming into Daily Waters, it's like an absolute zoo here, so we're not even sure where we should go. We're just going to try and find somewhere to park here and go and see if they have available accommodation. Daily Waters is a quirky little town centred around the Daily Waters pub, which is on one hand a junkyard and on the other a huge tourist trap. We couldn't believe the number of people camped up here. Rear seat passengers, when you, when you hit a bit of turbulence, you want to, want to pull your pants. <laughs> a very smart businessman owns this place and comes in on his mobility scooter, followed by his horse to tell his story every evening. And then the country player sings for a couple of hours. Can't say it was a highlight of our trip. Good morning, we're back on the road again. We have left Daily Waters. That was an interesting place. One of those kind of glad I went but don't really want to go back there places. What do you reckon, Knight? Yeah, that's probably a good way to put it. Yeah, pretty, um, yeah, interesting. <laughs> anyway, so we're back on the road today and what we're really noticing now is it's a lot more lush. We've left the desert, really. We're back in this bush type environment. So we're seeing a lot more grass a lot more trees and unfortunately a lot more roadkill. So our next stop this morning is going to be at Mataranka. I'm so excited to go for a swim. Yeah, about 70 k. Awesome. We've just stopped in Mataranka in the town for a coffee and I've just seen a couple of brolgas. Now we haven't seen these sort of birds for a while. So we've just arrived to our campsite here in Mataranka and Nigel's rolling out the awning. First time since Bujamala Lawn Hill. Does it still work? Yeah, it's a bit creaky. It's <laughs> it a bit creaky. Poor old thing. This morning we are in Bitter Springs. We stayed here last night in a caravan park of sorts. Today we are going to go and really explore both Bitter Springs and Mataranka Springs. We've got our snorkels at the ready, the GoPro, because the water is so clear. We actually went there yesterday for a quick swim, so we want to share it with you guys. First we made our way to Mataranka Springs. The thermal pools are fed from water from the underground water table and stay at a constant 34 degrees. Here at Mataranka, they have built walls that make the springs seem like a swimming pool. We decided not to swim here as we prefer something more true to nature. This is Rainbow Springs, so this must be where the water comes up out of because there's no, like it just appears from here and you can see it bubbling up there. And it flows from here down to the swimming pool. Some of you may remember the book, We of the Never Never, and the movie that was made in the 1980s. So this is the replica of the Elsie homestead that was built for the movie. And after the movie, it was moved to this location. We've just stopped for lunch in this epic spot. How good is it, Nige? Oh, she's very picturesque. <laughs> Pictures. 
Nick just you. <laughs> Nigel likes to make up words. Oh, yeah, that's a real word. New pronunciations for existing words. So we are by Mataranka Thermal Springs and we'd seen this spot on other videos and other Instagrams and we Mm. Thanks, anyway, Max. Thanks, Max. He actually pointed out where it is. But check this out, right outside the van door. While this is a nice spot to park up, it's a day use only area. It is right by main road. You might be able to hear the cars going past. It's also not a swimming spot here, but just a nice spot. We just had some lunch here. We're gonna go now back to Bitter Springs, which is the swimming spot, and go for another swim there and a float down the river. We really couldn't resist the urge to come down this little four-wheel drive track and see what's down here. Now, of course, we're going to have to turn around. Just had to share this cool-looking bus. It's all the Partridge family sort of bus. It's isn't it? awesome, isn't it? It's like hand painted the flowers on it. I just love it. It's great. While the water seemed clear at the beginning, it soon became murky as we floated along with the current, and at times it was almost impassable. Just a sea of legs. I reckon. <laughs> yeah, you gotta say it's, it's, <laughs> it's way crowded. Yeah. Not ideal. Oh, no, the water's too murky, so we really need to come back here. 7 a.m. Uh, first light. Yeah. Um, so we can beat, beat the crowds, maybe even get a bit of mist on the, uh, the water. Tonight we're doing a sneaky stealth camp. It's not actually a free camp. The stealth camp. We're being a bit naughty, but anyway, we're leaving no trace. Yeah, Nigel's been picking up rubbish all afternoon. Um, so we're just making dinner and we're making a red curry tonight. Chickpea, red curry. It's happening in here. Nigel is down there. The other day we had a beer can explode all the way through the box of death. I think we were so distraught at the time we didn't film it. We actually had guests coming into the van right when it happened and they had to go back to their own van for a while. It was a bit of a disaster. So now just down here, reorganising said box of death right now. <laughs> the box of death. Well, it's a bit empty. We've got plenty of room. Yeah. <laughs> we need more stuff. We'll be in Darwin tomorrow. Mm. We can stock up. We've got a pretty cool sunset happening outside. What do you got to say about that, Nigel? Oh, would you look at that? Who needs little pieces of shrimp when you got pumpkin? Tell me how it is. Oh, hot. <laughs> 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 mm. Really good. Yumbo. Mm. We're up for the sunrise this morning and making our way down to Bitter Springs. So hopefully, pretty cold so we'll see some mist rising off of steam is it whatever mist rising off the water and oh, oh, misty. <laughs> but more importantly hopefully there'll be no one else there so the water will be nice and clear once the sun comes 
comes up so we can float down and actually see something other than hundreds of leaves. <laughs> So while Nigel's in the van making a coffee, I've been tasked with coming down to check the water and there's already quite a number of other people coming, so it looks like we weren't the only ones with this idea. in Darwin and we're just driving through the suburbs now and I've got to say night I'm pretty excited to see the ocean again yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. it's been a while six weeks seems like six months not six, six weeks longer than that. yeah yeah it seems longer yeah we've missed it not that we can go swimming here of course because it's Darwin and there's crocodiles everywhere but it would just be good to see the ocean, walk along the beach. So we're going pretty much straight to the beach, hopefully catch up with a few friends there, and then we've got to figure out somewhere to stay here in Darwin. There's the ocean. Turn right then, turn left. We hope you've enjoyed this episode. Please give us a thumbs up, drop a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Join us next time when we take the van into the repair shop to get a few things fixed up, do a major spring clean and then visit one of the most beautiful free camps we've ever stayed at. Thanks for watching. See you next time.